Alright. Here's the boat. I had a bunch of water inside that's been there for I don't know how long. So, uh, I'm just not opening the boat up after years of being shut down. Um, had to get the shop back out. There's a floor. Pretty much all the wood. The water was so high. All the wood in here is going to have to be replaced. Or pretty much all the wood that was touching the floor. Um, and so I can't even like sand it down and refinish it. So I'm just going to replace it all. That's the floor right there. Obviously. And... This is what it's looking like after years of being parked in the backyard. On here we got a sink, but you can't see it. So much junk is on top of it. But this blue thing mat, the blue mat right here is supposed to be the uh, mat that goes down back here. Up under it, we have three storage compartments on both sides. Um, so I'm still going to utilize the space of storage, but over here, I plan to take some of this sitting space and cut it down just a little bit, probably to about here, and uh, which means I might end up getting rid of that storage space or as far as the accessibility to it and I might put a stove here and like a cold storage on this side for my dally just trying to utilize this as best as possible down here we got my float switch but it doesn't work and that's why so much water was here. Um, I got the bilge pump in there. It's actually a newer bilge pump that we bought. It's a newer bilge pump in there, but without that float switch working, it kind of does us no good. So I had to get the shop back out and clean. A whole lot of water. I'm standing in the boat, and as far as standing headroom, my head comes pretty much to the top of this right here. So, I can only stand straight up when I stand in the opening part. Otherwise, I'm going to have to kneel down just a little bit. All of this, the ceiling and stuff, it's already starting to drop down but I'm gonna pull all that off anyway and replace it with some newer nicer material from the section back here as you can see the sink is so far back there I might have to well I will be replacing not necessarily replacing but repositioning that area so I can use that space better because right now it's, I can't do anything with that bring that sink forward more and uh, as far as those electronics I don't know I can build the space up back here some more so it just looks better it's 2014 gotta more modernize this area all these windows they're going to be replaced especially this side back here it's, it's cracked I just got to figure out how I can get another one that shape so I can put it back up. This mirror right here, it's it actually opens up so you can see into the other side, but I'm going to just completely take that out. Since I have to put a new wall up here anyway, um, I'm going to take that out. Um, replace these lights, more modern lights, bring it up to date. And... Uh, 
here we got the swing kill. It's not a fixed kill boat, it's a swing kill. Uh, yeah, and back here we have the V-Birth. Enough space for two. We got my little Santa potty, portable potty. That uh, I don't know if I want to keep that one yet. I'm gonna have to really, really clean it before I even think about sitting on it. Um, hanging area for your clothes. And of course, over here on the side, it's just a uh, flat wall, just space. Got a little light over there that will be replaced. And this right here is a sliding door. You can actually slide it shut. Uh, since this has been closed down, it has been an enormous amount of mosquitoes that got in here. And that was obviously because of the water. So I had to get that water out and put some bleach in the water to kill any kind of mosquito families that might have come in here. But, um, yeah, it's the inside of the boat. This is my project, what I have to work with and redo, build it back up. If you have any uh, ideas for recommendations I you think I might want to do. Oh, as far as this uh, shelf right here, I, I want to keep a shelf there, but I kind of actually want to push it back just a little bit. Um, make it come out at most probably about, I don't know, six inches. Because right now that's... Since I'm kind of moving this uh, um, table or counter space, since I'm kind of moving it out more, I want to be able to push this actual area back here, like back just a little bit further. So, I don't know if I want to keep that wood. Actually, I think I will keep it. Um, or if I want to get another piece of wood and cut it. And uh, cut out my little shelf space. However, I want that to be designed. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, that's where we at right here. We got a little tank. And actually, I really have to get in here to see how all of this is wired up. This is an old cooler that we used to use. That cooler will be going in the trash quick, fast, and in a hurry. The only reason why I'm still in the boat right now is because it's providing an easy way to step down into the, the boat. But I plan to build some steps right here. And on those steps, I'm going to incorporate some kind of pull-out drawers underneath each step. To give us a little bit more storage space up here for whatever I might want to store. But, um, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Pretty much everything in this boat. That cannot be reused today. Like, I'm not going to use that coffee maker ever. Um, we'll be going in the trash. Mm -hmm. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. I don't know if I'll be adding more to this video or not. But, if I don't... This is almost a 10 minute video, so it should be long enough. Deuces.